All right, so we're back. We made it back home, and it was quite the adventure. Uh, losing it over there. Uh, so the truck broke down. We actually ended up finding a new truck. Uh, we weighed the options. Couldn't get a new turbo. Couldn't find any replacement parts to really fix the truck. So we decided to just buy a new one there. Uh, found a really cool place. as Don's there in Eagle River, mm -hmm. Wisconsin. Uh, so we had a couple of trucks there. So I actually had a, a selection of trucks. Bear bait. Did they sell bear bait? <laughs> no. There was no, no bear, bear bait, bait as far as I know. Just yeah. just trucks. Just barely uh, any bait. <laughs> but we did find a truck. We were able to get back home. We ended up leaving the Ford in Wisconsin. It's still there as far as I know. We're trying to get it transported back so we can get it fixed. Oh but anyway, yeah. We, we made it home and... Um, so now we're back, we're here with our friends from Garage Hada, and so they'll talk a little bit about the rally, but before they do, um, I'm going to talk about Calvin and I's shirts. They're by H&P Speed, and um, this design here, um, I helped him come up with, but um, as always, if you want to order their shirts, um, you can use our discount code Cooper Auto um, for 10% off. And um, their shirts are really awesome. They're really great, great quality, and they had a BMW design. This is the BMW <clears throat> drift. Not dog hair. It's not, smoke. Not dog hair. <laughs> yeah, the like, smoke from the tires. We have a really hairy white dog. And then um, mine has an awesome quote um, from a female rally driver, which is really, really awesome. But anyway, um, back to Jake and Eric. They're gonna recap. Their adventures at LSPR, we sponsored them for the event, and at least something with our name finished the rally. So we're pretty stoked. Take yes. it away. We're yeah. stoked. Oh, we're talking now? Yeah. I thought we were doing this after you guys were done. But it's all okay. one take. Oh, we're, gosh. We're done. Yeah. So, I mean, what did we Shoot. talk about? Um, it was incredible. Way more than we expected to be, at least for me, especially. <clears throat> On the way up there, I learned how much it meant to Eric, so... Um, it was even more exciting that we got the finish, and if, if you see, we actually finished third in class, um, both in national and regional. Yeah, so if you combine the over the um, national light two-wheel drive and uh, regional two-wheel drive, we actually placed third out of national and regional competitors, which was which, pretty cool. Very cool, and I was very surprised because, I mean, we, we didn't think we were going to finish at all when we went on recce for the... Uh, the one stage in particular at Arvon, which is an absolute nightmare. But uh, yeah, we, <laughs> it was a rough there, stage. There's, that alone could be its own little, you know, video because it, there was a lot going on at that stage. I think when we went through, there were six or seven cars on the off. Well, and I guess to maybe recap some of our rally, this was our first time that we actually kind of took notes into our own hands. We really kind of modified the stage notes and the jumping notes that we were given. And it was like our first time. I actually rewrote all the notes and like it was our first time doing that. But even in recce, it was our first time really paying attention to like what we were writing down, what we were calling. And when we got to Arvon, you know, I was feeling super confident and just Jake was like... It really mentally, I could just see that it was messing with them, and I was like, "Oh man, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this one's gonna be brutal." It was. It's it's a rough stage for the 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 Missouri guys, the local guys that we usually run with. It's it's kind of to put it in perspective. It's like Southern Loop, but about five it's a times trail. worse. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. it just keeps going, keeps going. There's rocks the size of bigger than this pumpkin all over the place that you gotta dodge. There's giant ones that are even bigger than that just half buried in the dirt and so big that they spray paint them to try and make you see them easier and there was uh decreasing radius mud turns that just go into dips and i like with our little one wheel drive car i didn't know how we we're going to power through it but uh literally celebrated after the second yeah. time we finished it i mean it well, was the first time too but the second time it was like just eruption in the it car was, like yeah was, we did it we did it we still have three stages to go but we did it, it was, <laughs> after that it's like the rest of it we're like we could do this this is fine these are just normal stages they're fast they're fun they're swoopy but once we got past all the rocks and all that yeah we knew that we could uh probably bring it home and we did so yeah we're excited about it because one of the one of the best stages the one the one that i was looking forward to the most was the one in uh 
downtown Houghton? 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 Houghton. 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 Yeah. Houghton. And um, they block off. It's only about a half mile or something. Yeah. Super special. Kind of like a an autocross. A little bit. Yeah. Not really much higher speed. I think you're about yeah. top second gear, you know. Level you're smashing. Yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Concrete all around you. So if you mess up, you're not taking out a cone. You're taking out a quarter panel. But uh, Concrete or people. Yeah, or, or people. Uh, yeah. The people were surprisingly close. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but uh, that was cool. It kind of felt like a rock star when you do that because yeah, you see people you all up, over the place. I think 26 overall on that stage, just on stage time. Yeah. Dang. That's pretty good. That's pretty fun. A lot of people just, you know, put through. They kind of used yeah. through it, you know. I think Fatella put on the biggest show. Fatella was... did. Ryan Booth put on a pretty good show on that last hairpin, too. He was on it, squealing tires, just oh, dude. coming around that thing. That's awesome. Best, but... best turn around that last <laughs> hairpin, though, was Santiago. Yeah, he It was the most perfectly it. swung. Yeah. Very cool. Hey. Handbrake, yeah. sliding the rear, just coming around it. So that was cool to watch. You guys didn't get to watch that. We yeah. didn't. We, didn't, we, didn't. we got yeah. to watch. Those guys are all faster than us. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> we we, we got to them. watch the fast guys at the very end. And we got to watch the sweet trucks go through there, which was also kind of neat. Having yeah. like 10 or 15 freaking big old diesels running through the same course. And they put on a show, of course. Rolling coal all over everybody, and yeah. just a nice little way to finish it off. But well, you have someone to thank after your first running of Arvon. After, <laughs> after our first running, I think I know what you're saying about this. But yes, like Arvon, the first the first running we did. Uh, let's see, like we came through, and we were right behind you guys on the starting yeah. order. We came out, and there's a spectator area. I think it's like a left two or something down into a spectator area. Um, and then you have like two right threes or something just kind of goes around this little jog and then another left two up into the same road and there was a caution out there and we came up and over and just about kissed art motions Subaru they went off hit a tree we ran just about parallel to them just came to a stop car died threw it in verse headed on out went through that awful awful horrible stages <laughs> the best we could without dying <clears throat> and then at the the very end um we go through control and there's uh, two or three cars pulled over off the side which is never a good sign at the end of a stage and uh one of them was hooper and his lexus and um we came through and we could hear kind of rattling and all kinds of stuff when we we're just kind of slowly pulling out the time control didn't think much of it because it was a rough stage well and previously night the night before we had had uh a bolt come out of the exhaust for at like the collector i think it was before the cat where the exhaust manifold or where the header is yeah so it was kind of like well you know maybe maybe the exhaust is a little bit loud or i don't know whatever the deal might be but you were actually putting that bolt in at park expose yeah Saturday, because the exhaust <clears throat> kept getting louder and louder, and we're like, "Oh well, they're, they're so our service crew Zach. He was like, "Hey, you missing a bolt?" So he went and got us a bolt. We put it in the park expose. Didn't think much of it, but we and finished our van. We finished our van, and it was <clears throat> stuff was rattling all over the place. Didn't really care. And then um, Hooper just kind of jumped out. And he was kind of looking, and I was like, "Oh geez, we got something dragging." And so he pulls up, and and he. Pops his head in there, and I, th- I think you you just kind of like, hey, you got something dragging there. Let, let me take a look at it real quick. And so he just kind of jumped up in the front, and he's like, here, your skid plate's hanging down. And so... Um, Which is so awesome. Like, this is another competitor. I mean, he's not really, like, in our class... He had a, a spring from his shock that was just sitting on top of his car. Like, which he I, was out. I didn't like, even notice. He could have been, like, this. sulking on a rock on yeah. the side of the road, but he was, you know, still in it and, like, helping, helping us out, like, up. engaged, super positive and just, like, super amped up and, like, still awesome. Yeah, and so um, he's like, yeah, your skid plate's hanging down. And I was like, yeah, it's probably, you know, not surprised at all. But then... Um, so we pull over right in front of his car, and uh, he's like, hey, I got some zip ties, some big zip ties. Let me go get them, and we'll help you zip this up. So we get out the uh, the impact and our, our jack and everything, the wood, start lifting the car up, and it's right there on the side of the road. And the, it's been kind of – it was wet. Like yeah, the whole the whole stage yeah. is really damp and everything, so there's mud everywhere. And then, you know, I'm, I'm on the ground sitting there jacking this thing up, and he comes over, and he's got a fleece. And he's like, here, lay down on this fleece. Like, such a gentleman. Made me feel like such a princess. I was just like, thank you so much. And so I laid on his fleece. Jack Seriously, though, the glow that Jake had afterwards. Like, full suit, he's, like, taking it off. 
He has a he gets the fleece like hoop takes off and he's just like what I what do I do? With this? <laughs> like <laughs> he's just like yeah, just leave it on the side of the road. I'll come get it when we get back. So. Well, we jacked it up, and uh, his zip ties were too big for the holes we had on our skid plates, so we didn't even get to use them anyway. So um, we used some of our zip ties, zipped it back up and everything, but it was it was quite a fun experience because it was, it was so sweet, but it was so random to just be like, here, lay on my jacket so you don't get your suit dirty. And I'm like, oh, okay. Once again, I mean, that's just that's amazing. Yeah, it's the, it's the awesome. camaraderie of the, uh, all the rally drivers. It's, it's freaking awesome. <laughs> the, and then... Yeah, so your your exhaust fell off, and then you had some issues with your intercom also. Yeah. The, so it was that was after one. stage two. We were going to stage three, and they had red crossed it because uh, was it Steely's? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had a fire, mm -hmm. which I mean, thank goodness it wasn't any worse than yeah. it was, and it. I mean, it sucks, but it could have been definitely a lot bad, a lot more bad. But um, so we transited that stage, and it was like a super long stage, like fourteen miles yeah, or something. Yeah, it was the longest. TP Tower, I think, was the longest stage of the event. And I was like, oh my gosh, like we're kind of going through it. We used it as like a quasi second recce, and I mean, <laughs> Jake yeah. wasn't going slow, and I'm like looking at the times that they gave us, and I was like, bro, like we're gonna be late, man. Like we need to like step this up a little bit, and we ended up rolling up to the next stage with like thirty seconds. So I'm like scrambling to get out of the car i thought i hit the comm or i thought i unplugged my comm but i didn't and then when i got out i like jerked my head and like ripped the freaking cable completely off my helmet which was terrible and not fixable to come to find out that they were giving us a minute then anyways i like booked it for i don't even know how long but so our comms didn't work starting at stage four for the rest of the rally right and i just and yelled my brains out and like we said earlier, that it, the car kept getting louder and louder because, well, we thought that it was just a bolt on the exhaust. We found out later, well, it might have been just that. I think it was at Arvon, though. Oh, at Arvon. Like, and just the, the flex pipe or whatever right before the cat just, just completely separated. It, and it was like, oh, no. <laughs> and luckily, I have a huge skid plate. And so it goes really far back, even past where the header bolts up. And so it was kind of like being held up and supported by the skid plate but it was just kind of like hanging on by threads and so it was sticking out that my muffler was sticking out there the exhaust tip was sticking out about this far from the the bumper of the car and just kind of swinging wherever the heck we wanted it so um bang 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 crash so crash crash, crash bang, bang, bang 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 so crash 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 our, <laughs> our first service of the second day we got out the cutting wheel and just chopped our exhaust off and ran open header which was even more difficult for Eric because he did not have any comms. And, and so mildly defeating because I'd finish the stage and be like, bro, so what'd you hear? He's like, I didn't hear uh, much. Some, I was like, man, I'm some. freaking useless. But we, we All got, I do is help you get from next stage to next stage. We, we got really good at it towards the end because he would like time it perfectly to where he knew where the car was going to be quieter because we were shifting or we were lifting around a turn or something. And he would just kind of time the notes with that. And then when he couldn't, he would give hand signals. The hold the know. book and try and give a six is really hard. I, I'd never you figured that one hands out. Everything that, was a five. It's yeah. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. So I know after the event was over, we went to the awards party, which was a blast. There were some beer can towers being made. And, um, you know, lots of, like, rally legends and people talking. It was really cool. But, it was, um, like, really a room was, filled of, like... Yeah. yeah oh, my there gosh. Was, there was us, and we were eating, like, muscatoli yeah. with, like, <laughs> Solberg. And, I mean, just, like, For le real. legitimate world yeah. rally champions. And, I mean, that was just insane. And then you guys got to accept your award because you kicked butt. And then we, yes, yeah, so we accepted the award. And, and we were the first ones to... To accept the award, so we didn't give out the proper thanks or anything, but <clears throat> obviously we... Uh, yeah, we were a little taken back when they were like, <laughs> we're oh, you say something. It's like, oh, uh, 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 boy, I'd have thought this through. Uh, yeah. The Academy, thank you so uh, much. <laughs> but no, big thanks to the guys at Cooper Auto Works, the guys, Calvin and Kelsey here, because we couldn't have been there without them. And which really, I think the decision was made only two weeks before the rally. Yeah. Because uh, we were at like Show after, Me. After Show Me, I think, is when we finally decided that we legitimately were going. I remember talking to you at Park Exposé, and I was like, yeah. yeah, Jake and I, we like sat down and was like, well, how much money you got? How much money you got? Like, uh, well, I guess we'll do Show Me. And Calvin's just like, 
Mont, let me know what you guys need, and we'll uh, pitch in, help you out, sponsor you, whatever that takes or whatever that looks like. So I was like, Jake, <laughs> Jake, <laughs> Jake, we could go to LSPR. We could go to LSPR, and like, yeah. yeah. Just, the, the big debate was either you know spend the money go to LSPR, which wouldn't help us. What we thought points wise or anything like that, but um, well, I might not be up on my uh, my movement plan action, but I can put together one hell of a budget. <laughs> <laughs> so I went and mapped it all out, and I was like, "Bro, seriously, man, like this is what we're looking at." Because <laughs> otherwise, we're thinking, you know, save the money because we we got a new engine for the car, and um, you know, putting it towards that, so that way we can have a, a strong next year, you know. And we both wanted really wanted to do LSPR. And I didn't know whether this guy was so attached to it. Yeah, that's a real special super rally for me. We, like, we can't thank these guys enough a lot for of there. getting us there. And we had a good time. And I was not even at all expecting this, you know, to, to win any kind of award or anything. So that was freaking awesome. So yeah. now we just got to keep doing it next year. And yeah! Traveling together and yes. having those both win awards. Because we're, we're not really competitors since we're in different classes, which is yeah. Really these guys are in limited, and then we're in open. So we don't compete directly, but, you know, we might have to come up with the, up the ante a little bit for next year, come up with, like, an award between oh, the two of us. Well, that, that's just that's still that's overall. Yeah. That's just <laughs> <laughs> I will say, I do, uh-huh. have, I do have a bucket of farm animals somewhere that I need to paint gold so that I have some, like, golden, golden animal trophies. So can pull those out at a rally, like, ooh, whoever wins this stage gets the golden donkey. By the way, <laughs> Kevin Schmidt, I owe you a golden donkey. Golden ass. And when I send you your sticker, I'll get it to you. <laughs> I don't know what that's about, but okay. No one else will know what it's about. But see, like, we were in LSPR. We shouldn't give out golden ones because their squirrels are black up there for some reason. So we should, mm-hmm. A chipmunk, maybe? A oh, chipmunk? There's maybe. a lot of chipmunks out there. Golden chipmunk? Also, Calvin there was a lot saw of a chipmunks. bear. Oh, no, you right. didn't. Yeah. Did you use yeah. some bait? There was like a black mass that moved across there the road. There was someone else that said they saw a bear on Recky also. Recky? What about a Recky when we were going through that, that one stage? I think it was TP Tower, actually. Oh, and yeah. And we saw giant oh, the eagle. Oh, like, Yeah, the claw No, we, we thought it was like a Lord of the Rings eagle because it was gigantic. It was huge. And it like moved the trees. And we were like freaked out. We're like, what on earth was that? And we pull up a little bit and it was a big logging claw. I'm pretty serious when it comes to Rocky. Even I paused at that point and was yeah. like, oh, he is very serious. I went on a little small, small little tangent about beaver dams because there are beaver dams up there and I thought it was cool as can be and I got yelled at quite a bit. <laughs> so yeah, uh, when we were on Rocky, Jake wanted to talk about his stupid beaver <laughs> dams. We're but then he started beaver. driving and I'm like, bro, we've done like two instructions. Are we talking about the dams or are we doing Rocky? Pick one. <laughs> you can talk about the beavers. Like, just please stop because we're on Rocky. I, so, I didn't. Uh, I I did not care about the dams. I just I wanted to do one or the really other. I didn't even see these dams. Everyone's talking about them, and I didn't see them. I was just like focused Bruh. on like this turn, that turn. There, right. there was some before Arvon. Was there? Oh, there was. I got, I got pictures. Don't worry. Let's well, go back through a Rocky footage and be like. Dude. Beaver dams. I saw it. Just, just, I was and, the the bear. and the bear. I, I, I need to see the video. video I can't, I can't find the bear. I searched the video. He's in there. Because I hear you say, and I wrote it in our notes. I wrote bear question mark. Oh, bear left. Oh, bear right. Black bear. <laughs> <laughs> bear left over crest. <laughs> Rawr. Rawr. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> So, so anyways, we didn't talk about our puddle either. <laughs> we didn't what? talk about what? Our puddle. Our water cross. Our crossing. puddle. Our yes, water, water cross. It wasn't a, uh, well. It was not a water crossing. It was a very deep puddle. <laughs> it was a massive puddle. So, yeah, if you go to the garage here on a Facebook page right now, it's like our cover photo. And it's just us blasting through this water crossing, which I think it was like a left, or it was a right four, right five over crest. And then it was like 400 or something, like downhill. And we came over it. We're just blasting. I think we're in fourth gear, and it looked like just a normal water puddle because there was a lot yeah. of them on this trail where Maybe it just like, kind of like dug in, and so you got these two like ovals right next to each other, and you just kind of splash through, and it ain't no thing. <clears throat> and so we just flat out, and we nailed it, and it was water just 
dumped <laughs> on me. You all right? <laughs> dumped on me through the, the vent. And I look over it, and Eric's got this, like, look on his face. Just kind of... <laughs> Yo, seriously, like, it happened in stages, and I'll let him tell It the was rest. wild. Like, because, and honestly, I think I'm going to spend money on a GoPro, and I'm going to film myself, because I think my facial expressions, especially during this last one, was like, I had a lot of oh shite moments that I didn't know really what to make. I wasn't going to tell you how to drive. I figured, you got it, you got it. And, like, over the water, I was like, uh, <laughs> dip water? <laughs> I didn't, think, water. I didn't think it was much. It didn't look like anything. So, like, and we've been through water before. You know, you hit it at a pretty good rate of speed. You get the little things, and it's good. Like, this was a wall of water that all of a sudden went up in front of the car, and it was like, <gasps> and then all of a sudden, boom, it, like, erupted inside the car, and it was just, like, everywhere. Just water everywhere. On the inside of the windshield, <laughs> all over the dash. Apparently, all over his leg, on the the notebook and everything because we popped a uh like a body plug that was on the car itself actually just blew out from the water and so it had like a two inch hole that was just spraying water up on eric and so i got a little bit from the the you know the the actual roof vent, and I was just like, oh, no, water, and he's sitting over there just So drenched. my job is to read notes, give directions. All of a sudden, my notebook now is soaked. My phone is dripping water. <laughs> There's water, is water dripping from my face and the visor of the helmet. There's water on the inside, mud water on the inside water of the water. very brown. He's hitting the wipers. This <laughs> not doing a damn thing, and I'm he's like, I inside. can't tell him what's coming up. And he's just... Cuss, cuss, cuss. <laughs> it, it, was, it was almost instant where, like, the, the just the humidity inside the car just completely fogged up the windshield. And we were headed, I guess, kind of southwest-ish in the afternoon. or So it was like the sun was just glaring off it. I mean, we were completely blind. We put the defroster on, and it took a few seconds to for it to actually start working. And we're sitting there, like, trying to wipe. We made, like, a little square, like, this big... That I could actually look out of because we were going over those turns completely blind because it was so fogged up. But then it cleared up, but we were just soaking wet. So, well, I wasn't. My leg was wet. wet. He was soaking wet. I was a little wet, slightly uncomfortable. But that was that was one of the more eventful moments of the. I race. was laughing my butt off. When we it was it finish. was quite funny, and the car is still incredibly dirty from it. I haven't washed it at all. So. I don't believe that. It's very 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 dirty water. It was incredibly brown. Yeah, Very people close. were likening the water splash, so Ryan Booth drove through it in his car, and he has the I'm loving it. People were calling it, like, the McCafe, like, because it looks like, like, latte water. <laughs> sure, <laughs> latte water. Yeah. Well, it was a latte water, let me uh, tell you. It was, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> there was a lot of that this week. Oh. <laughs> puns, puns are everywhere when you hang out with these guys. King of the puns right here, Eric Schley. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, I guess you guys, you never, like, introduced yourself. Hi, I'm oh, Eric. This is, yes. I'm the co-driver of 511 Garage Hirohata. Hirohata. That's not not Hirohota. <laughs> no, nobody in my team knows how to pronounce it. <laughs> Garage Hirohata. And then this is Jake Burke, the driver. Uh, driver, yeah. owner of the 511-98 Civic <clears throat> EX. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it, it's it's always disappointing when you see your friends on the side of the road and such. And, and they yeah, passed us on the side of the road like twice. Yeah, we unfortunately had to see it twice for you, but they looked like they're in good spirits each time. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if it was. A we were high on uh, gas fumes. So that's whatever it takes. <laughs> I'm glad they were smiling and not crying, and so. But we were pretty jazzed. Like the start of day two, we were starting right behind you guys because yeah. that other competitor wasn't in it. So. We were, I mean, I, we were like, oh man, check that out. We get to follow these guys. This mm-hmm. is going to be fun. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> because I would say, like, this is like one of the few times really getting in the uh, like groove of co driving and like you and I swapping times all the times that we do. Like, it's kind of unique and fun because yeah. we never really did that before. It was just like, as long as we get the numbers straight, 
you know, and that's what this was actually, other than the times we were like, this is the first rally I think that we've done where we didn't get any penalties out of like ignorance, mm. but it was just, it was a very clean rally. Yeah. We did get a couple minutes because I think we were fixing the exhaust that's and when, stuff, yeah. yeah. but I mean, it wasn't because, you know, yeah. we entered wrong or we, yeah, it's yeah. not a mistake you guys made. Right. It's, it's just the circumstances and that's kind of, I mean, it's a good feeling when you get past that point past like, Oh, we don't know what we're doing to we know what we're doing now, but this happened. We have to fix it, and we know we're not going to get a penalty. If you go up there knowing you're getting a penalty, it's not that. Yeah. So you plan for it. You know what's going to happen. Was, was, and we calculate, like, oh, well, is it better to take this penalty or do that? You know, it gets to the point where you can kind of calculate your risk for the penalty time. Well, that's so even when we were running late from the fixing the skid plate and all that jazz, it was like I wasn't going to press him and push him for, like, a speed limit penalty or something like yeah. that. And I was just like, you know what? Judging by how much further we got to go and what it is, you know, we're going to take, like, 20 seconds on this. No big deal. penalties, didn't they charge us for that? Yeah, it was, like, money. Yeah, it's, so that's so what you, it was did, you didn't care about that one? I no, 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 that's oh, what okay. I said. Like, yeah. it was, like, well... <laughs> I care about that one a little bit. It's always fun to see locals outside of... And ra- rally's interesting because you, like, you get to know these people at all these events and stuff. And, like, we were talking, like, we know these people, but we don't even know where they're from, you know? Like, a, a lot of other um, competitors and stuff we, we talk to them all the time but yeah. it's like you're one big family and you have no clue where they're from because they're just kind of they're all locals to you you know you see them in ohio you see them in michigan and missouri all over the place and it's kind of fun yeah i love it well, i think that wraps it up for this part two of the rally recap <laughs> all right well thanks for watching our recap ciao all right bye, bye. Thanks, cheers Beth. Bye. Rally on. PR. Press on. I love you. (laughs) That kind of stuff. Yay. That's why chicken coops only have two doors. (laughs) If they had four doors, they'd be chicken sedans.